Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Winback and on today's episode of Heroes of the Storm in our A through Z playthrough, we're going to be playing Rhaegar, the healing orc wolf man himself. He's going to do some healing, he's going to do some slowing, and that's probably about it. But it's a YouTube video, so feel free to like, comment, subscribe your heart out. And the team comps today are going to be Rhaegar, Vala, Asmo, Illidan, and Nazebo versus Thrall, Alexstrasza, Genji, Li Ming, and Raynor. Now, I can tell you 100% uh, that I'm not going to be building any basic bit shit on this character. I'm going to be building just to have fun because I play Rhaegar a fair amount and I think I have a decent grip on his playstyle. Even though he's kind of underpicked as it is, he is uh, ultimately not the greatest healer in the world. Uh, his healing output is very minor and it does cost a lot of mana, especially in the early game. So a lot of what you're going to be doing mostly is clearing waves, getting camps, paying it. Oh my god! Um, it's fine. I totally knew that that was going to happen. We're just, we're just terrified that I was going to go over the wall. Um, but yeah, back to the the character himself. His his mana costs are really high for being so uh, kind of pathetic in the early game, and he does get better as he scales into the game. But mostly, you have to do that by taking camps, clearing waves, being uh, less than a healer for the first few levels, which is a little bit rough, but, you know, at the same time, who cares? We're also not taking cleanse this game because I really don't have anything to cleanse other than a thrall root and maybe a, a sundering. Um, and, you know, I'm not really, really about that life. So, can we get him? Damn, he just barely, barely, barely gets away, which is fine, whatever. Rainer lives. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. Now, if you're not aware what Rhaegar's abilities are, our Q is called Chain Heal. It's basically like Chain Lightning, except it bounces to your allies and is going to heal them all for the same amount. 292 bounces to three allies, I think. Ooh, got to redrop that bad boy. He almost got me, but the Chain Heal came up just in the nick of time. Uh, yeah, it's going to hit total of three allies when you hit this ability the mana cost is 55 but in the early game uh this is still a huge amount that's that's a little bit over 10 percent of your mana bar for a heal that's really not doing a whole lot on one target uh if you need to heal up multiple targets just kind of top them off that's that's great it's got very useful stuff going on but if you're just trying to save one person you got to do it at the exact moment otherwise you your healing's just kind of whatever. Uh, it's also very easy to run out of mana fast on this character very early on. So if your team is being aggro as fuck, like a lot of them like to be in quick match, you are probably going to run out of mana pretty quick. Now your W, one of the more interesting abilities in Rhaegar's kit, is the lightning shield. It's not actually a shield. It is just a couple of lightning balls that you're going to stick around a, uh, a unit. Uh, it's either going to be yourself, your totem, or uh, an ally or a minion. You can do it on minions and mercenaries too. It's pretty cool. Um, but it is going to do damage while spinning around the character that you've applied it to. And that's it. But it is all of your wave clear. Uh, it is very, very good at wave clear. It does just monstrous amounts. You can clear waves quick as shit. Uh, and you can cap mercenary camps pretty easily as well. Now, the uh, final ability in your basic kit here is going to be the Earthmine Totem, which, again, another super fun part about playing Rhaegar. But you can drop this totem down. It is going to slow for, let's see, 35%. And it has its own health bar. Illidan's dead on the other side of the map. So is Nazebo, and Vala does not feel even slightly interested in picking up those gems. So I will go get them. Thank God for me. And we're going to bite into the Genji and run away. Actually, just kidding. We're not going to run away until we're dead. That's fine. Way to go past me. Just show them your balls. Um, but the, the totem, you can slap it down in a pretty decent range. And it is going to slow in a very large AoE. And with the talent that we've taken at level 1, we can actually replace the totem to continue to slow people. Which... As I'm finding out in this game specifically, is very, very helpful against a bunch of, uh, like, non-mobile enemies. 
Ooh, Genji looking pretty dead. Give him the lightning shield, let him go forward and blast it. I got the kill because it was my lightning shield. Suck it, Illidan. I'll take it. Um, yeah, but you can see it here. We're just going to replace it, and then Ray, uh, Rainer is going to be getting away again. Uh, but he was slowed there for a considerable amount of time uh, because we could just move the totem all over his face, which is really fun. I really like re remaneuvering it. Um, and the, the level 1 talent also increases the radius of the, the slow. So you can see how far it's extending. That is a huge slow field. Just going to casually dodge some Ming Balls. Just another one with a bite. And we're just going to protect all of our gems. Because right now we've got probably the most on the team. Definitely do. Looks like we're finally getting some space. The dragon is down for Alexstrasza, but at the same time... I don't know if the enemy team is really committed to that fight. We're going to bite in again by mistake, I think. And uh, we don't have any mana, so we need to leave. Now, the uh, trait for Rhaegar is really cool. It is actually his mounted ability, and it's called Ghost Wolf. Ghost Wolf is going to give you all of the movement speed of a mount. Uh, it's going to transform you into a wolf. And you cannot be unmounted when you are in wolf form with Rhaegar, which is awesome. One of the most fun parts about the character. And in doing that, uh, your next auto attack out of the Ghost Wolf form, got him that time, fuck you Raynor, um, is going to do extra damage. So since your mount is on a fairly short cooldown and it's an instantaneous mount when you hit the button, you can use this very, very often to deal buttloads of extra damage. The... Uh, the extra auto damage that you get from this uh, this ability is pretty nuts. Uh, it's really good for securing kills, really good for just killing people or diving in when they least expect. It's really awesome. Um, and definitely one of the, the more fun parts about playing Rhaegar. Rhaegar, in general, one of the more fun healers to play. Just numbers-wise, he's very um, he's very low on the totem pole. Uh, so he's not very often... Ooh, are we going to... He's just trapped in that wall. This man is dead. That's five people. He's still going to blow his ult. I don't know what he thought was going to happen there. Um, right, no, but Rhaegar, again, one of the, the most fun healers to play in the game, but really, really low on the number side of things compared to characters like uh, Malfurion. Um, who's the other big... Oh, yeah, Stukov. Uh... There's another one that's always getting picked. There's there's Ana. You, I mean, the healing roster is so small. You could just compare him to mostly all of them and say that guy's got more healing than this guy. Uh, our healing mostly is probably going to compete with... Um, ooh, ooh, we got the heal, the save, the totem is down. We're going to rip the bloodlust to just jump on top of the thrall, make sure we get all the auto attacks while he's trying to come up. Uh, didn't I mention we're taking Bloodlust? So that's that's been a thing for a while. Uh, Bloodlust is your ultimate. It's got a pretty huge range to it. It's just going to increase attack and movement speed. 40% oh, attack speed and 35% movement speed. And then we're going to heal. We're basically just going to lifesteal off of our auto attacks while in Bloodlust mode. So we can hit our entire team with that if we're close enough to them. And at level 20, we can hit them all as long as they're on the same screen. And it is really disgustingly, amazingly good. Um, ooh, ooh, the spiders hit the Ming, but there aren't enough to kill her. Definitely not. Unless she dies to like some sort of Asmodan ball in the top lane. We're just going to come down, help clear out the middle camp here with Illidan and Vala. And then hopefully get our spiders pushed up. That fort looks pretty dead, so I don't think that there's going to be a whole lot of resist. That's a dragon blade. He's going to bite in there, watch Illidan hunt in as well, give him a little bit of a heal so he can get out, and we're good. We're good. We got an ult out of Genji for some reason, but our Illidan also ulted, so I guess that's fine. We're also making a ton of space in the top lane up here for the Nazebo and the Asmodan to just hard push in to the top fort with the objective. So let's come up, offer a bit more of assistance, and talk about this build. I'm just going to casually sidestep the wolf, or maybe Thrall's just going to miss the wolf. I'll take the credit either way. 
And then our uh, our build is going to be Colossal Totem at 1. We've got Stormcaller at 4 because I like to get the mana on this character back. It's really important. Really, really, really important. Uh, Blood and Thunder at level 7 instead of Cleanse because Blood and Thunder is going to reduce our basic ability cooldowns by 2 seconds when we attack a hero with our mount, which I really like to do a lot anyway. So it's really fun, really good talent, just never gets picked because it's on the same tier as Cleanse. Um, also could have taken the Earthbind Totem Health and attack speed slow for uh, Rainer and Thrall, but that just doesn't seem fun, you know? Not compared to Blood and Thunder. Uh, and then we got Bloodlust at 10, Earth Shield at 13, really just no explanation needed here other than it gives people a shield when you hit them with your W. We really shouldn't be here, the rest of our team is not here. Looks like the enemy team is coming up as well. Are they gonna leash? Raynor is going to leash the boss again. That thing is so healthy. Whoop, there's the hunt going on the Raynor. The Sunder comes out to stop him from going in. The Bloodlust goes down as well while we are in Ghost Wolf form. We're going to get Dragon Bladed. I need to get out. I've got all the movement speed. We're going to make it. Genji missing his Swift Strike, getting juked out of his gourd and getting blasted into the ether by the boss, it looks like. Looks, must have been the tornado that killed him. That's interesting. Whew. Yeah, a little bit of a close call there. Definitely, definitely outplayed that man in his brain sack. So, good for us. The boss is pushing, so now we get some clearance to get rid of the enemy's objective. Um, but Earth Shield is going to give a 12% max health shield to whoever we put it on. So that's crazy good for characters like Asmo, uh, Nazebo, even Illidan to some extent. Um, but that's all it does. It's, it's okay. It's just another save button, which is really nice for the character that you don't have a lot of save buttons on. Especially if you're taking Bloodlust. I don't know where you thought you were going, Alex Straza, but that's just... You can't get out of there unless you have the other ultimate. So, thank you for the free kill. Uh, I guess you can have this building. Nope, doesn't look like you're even going to get the building. Thanks for sticking me in the wall. I hate you. <sighs> Quick match, Nazebos. So, your 16 talent, we're actually going to take Earthgrasp Totem. When Earthbind Totem is first cast, it slows nearby enemies by 90% for one second. That's basically a root. They're going to be so stuck and slowed. Ooh, hit my face on my mic. Um... They're going to be so stuck that they, they cannot really go much of anywhere. And then after that, we can just easily replace the totem, continue giving them that 35% slow. Got him with the bloodlust in the range. Now we can chase down the Thrall and the Genji as well. Just got to keep auto-attacking, keep moving. Can we become a dog? Bite in some more. There it is. Got the damage on the Genji, but it's not going to ever be enough to kill him because that's not what we're here for. We don't kill people with Rhaegar. Unless we do. Now, the 20 upgrade for uh, Bloodlust is called Gladiator's War Shout. Increase the duration and the range of Bloodlust by 100%. So it's on a 6 second duration right now. It's going to go up to 12 seconds. And basically, the entirety of your screen is going to be hit by Bloodlust. It's so good. My god, it feels just the best. Uh, now, a lot of people will tell you that you can't take Bloodlust because reasons. Um, uh, Rhaegar is just bad and you shouldn't be taking Bloodlust anyway on a bad character. You need to be taking the optimal talent. It's like, uh, whatever. Bloodlust gives me a shitload of movement speed. Gives my team a shitload of movement speed and lifesteal, especially with the Illidan. Genji has a uh, grudge from earlier when I, I juked him and he killed himself, so we're just going to stay really far away. I didn't think we were going to go for the end, but then suddenly everybody on our team is just like, here we are. What a wolf from the Thrall. Just going to bite on into the Genji again, get our cooldowns back, drop the totem on Genji's face just so that Illidan can get him. This this is looking pretty done, though. Uh, Asmo's off on the top side. Maybe he's just waiting for some space to be cleared. But at any point, we can really just jump in there and end them. We have the bloodlust up once again. Everybody on my screen is going to be affected by it. But there was just three people. Let's run it in. We've still got about six seconds left, I believe. And we can end this game. Or get a couple kills and then end the game. Just dashing back in. 
Nothing they can do about it. GG. Well played. By me. And the rest of my team, I guess. They helped. They definitely helped. Can't win the game as a healer. Well, eyeball. Oh, is that me? <laughs> of course that's me. I'm the MVP. Every time that I play. I'm just kidding. Everybody else played really well as as well. Uh... Illidan specifically did a lot of good with my lightning shield. I really appreciate a man that could just jump in there with no fear. Three votes for me. Man, that's a, that feels good. That's a real feels good right there. Two and zero. Uh, you can see Alex Straza still out healed us by about 2,000 hero damage, which is fine. We both stayed alive the about the, the same amount of time. Uh, definitely did more hero damage than she did, though. Almost 20,000 to her almost 10,000, so... I know what to do. I know how to chomp on people. Anyway, the build, again, in case you need it, it is going to be... Where are we? We're going to take Colossal Totem at 1, Stormcaller at 4, Blood and Thunder at 7, Bloodlust at 10, Earth Shield at 13, Earth Grasp Totem at 16, and then Gladiator's War Shout at level 20. Fantastic character. I definitely recommend him. He's super fun. Don't know how viable he is in a draft setting because he does have a lot of weaknesses, but who cares? It's Rhaegar. Pick him. Enjoy your heart out. And I'll be back tomorrow with Rexar, the other re, re, re guy. And then after Rexar, it's um, start the S's. Is that right? Rhaegar... Rexar Samuro, and then Sergeant Hammer. So, three orcish dudes in a row, and then a tank. Joy. I'll see you there.